in episode shoot 12 crossroads we've reached the crossroads and one episode to go and they kind of spoiled the season finale when you were turning through the pages <laughs> in the beginning of the book um but this episode stars my god um everybody er, everybody's going through a lot you know it uh it, it starts where jennifer jj j jizzle she's um she's in her room and she's she's hurt by the fact that you know that boy that she liked you know got killed by red you know so jeff comes in the room and he's like hey baby girl just want to make sure you okay and then you know she's just like oh i'll never go out as lightning again and you know like she's all upset now this was this was kind of cool and i didn't i didn't know that you know they never even knew this information but jeff started telling her about the situation that happened with his dad when tobias killed his dad he said that he never told her or told nissa like the full details of what happened when his father died that night. And, you know, he explained to her how, you know, he, he was under the bed and then like his dad told him to stay under the bed and hide. And had he said something, Tobias would have killed him. And, you know, he just basically was just like, you know, like I hid under the bed like a coward and watched my daddy die. So he understands what she's going through and he understand, you know, and he knows about pain. And then he told her that you got to use the pain because he was like, he's like, of course it's going to hurt. He's like, you know, like it's going to hurt. He said the pain never actually goes away. He said it may get a little dull, but he said you still got to go out there and do what's right. And he said because you're the only person who has superpowers now, the only thing standing in the way of Tobias and taking over Freeland is lightning. So then, you know, she kind of comes around a little bit, you know, she told him. And then it was funny because she was just like, you know, being a superhero sucks. And he was just like, yeah, pretty much. And I was like, wow, like, you know, like we, we just we just throw it in the towel, <laughs> you know, but, it, it you know, but it does like it's not like being a, being a hero. It's it's not. A, I mean, Grace makes that point all the time, <laughs> you know, like it's not a, it's not not always cracked up to be. So now we're going in two different directions here. So with um with Jennifer with JJ, she she ends up going to TC and then she's just like, look, bro. She said, I want you to find Red because you know she's like Red killed you know killed my almost boyfriend and she was like you know like I want to get my revenge. But then TC was just like you know but you you can't. He's like you can't really go after him because he's like first of all that's vengeance that's not justice. And then she's like it's the same thing. And then he was like second of all your your powers are getting weak because the admitter he said you're the only person with powers but the admitter is kind of like draining them from you and then her whole thing was she was just like well in order for me to get a power boost and recharge myself i can fly back up to the ionosphere and then tc was like i don't want no part of that shit and then she was you know <laughs> the gen then jj was just like you know i'm gonna do it you know she was just like i'm gonna do it she's like i have to you know saying to get you know so i can get revenge for him and then she you know she begged him and then tc was like fine he was like yo when i locate red he's like i'll let you know so JJ's up in the sky, you know, like she's using her power. She's absorbing, you know, like all the ionosphere power. TC, you know, TC turns, you know, he was just like, yo, I found him, gave her the location. She swoops in and go kick his ass. The two of them get into it. She pretends like she doesn't have power, you know, but then, you know, she tricked him. She actually, she fried him and she fried the, um, the metahuman thing that he had on his wrist that was preventing the machine from taking his power. So she fried that. And then once that happened, he completely lost his power. So now he can't block anything. So now that he doesn't have power, he was just like, oh, I surrender you got me don't kill me and then she was just like after you killed you know i forgot the boy name but <laughs> she's that like jaya or something like that haraya or something like that she was just like after you killed him she's like you got the nerve to ask for mercy and then he was like sniveling like a little bitch and then and then, and then tc was on comms he was like so what you gonna do you know what i'm saying it's like you gonna you gonna take a life or you know you gonna do the right thing and you know now she's she's hit with the crossroads of you know of whether or not to be a hero or you know to cross that line. Chief Lopez is still trying to take down Lightning by any means necessary. So she calls Henderson's boy in the office and she's like, "Bro, we got these meta boosters. We can give our officers, you know, like a fighting chance. So we could take down this meta scum, <laughs> you know, like once and for all." And then he was just like, "Yo, can I?" He's like, "Yo, can I speak freely? Like permi permission to keep it real for a second? And then she was like, "Go ahead." And then we get a little. We we finally get an open window into her backstory and why she has a hard on for wanting to take down these metas. You know, he said that, he told her he was just like, you know, I'm sorry that your husband went crazy, you know, because he had metahuman powers. Apparently her husband was a, you know, was a metahuman. He acquired metahuman powers somehow. Maybe he was on the green light, I don't know. But because the, he, they said that his metahuman power drove him crazy. And when they said that, when they were just like, oh, his metahuman power drove him crazy, that's when I started thinking like, well, shit, maybe he was on green light because I, I believe green light was doing that to people. Like it was making people like, it wasn't just giving people superpowers and that was it. Like green light was actually making people like lose their shit. He then said, he was like, you know, like, I'm sorry that, you know, your husband's metahuman power like in the end made him go crazy 
to the point where he murdered all of your brothers because apparently she had like brothers you know I'm, he said brothers with an s so it was obviously more than one and her husband killed all of them and i guess he killed them so i don't even know where her, they i don't even remember they said where her husband was now so lord knows where he at but basically like metahuman powers destroyed her entire family so now she's just like she wants to take down everybody who has metahuman powers or at least the ones that can't be trusted but he didn't but he told her he was just like listen because what happened to your husband, because your husband went crazy due to having metahuman powers, do you really think it's a good idea to roll the dice and give metahuman powers to police officers when the same thing could potentially happen? He was just like, that's not a good look. So then she kind of came around for a second and she was just like, all right. She's like, you know, you got till the end of the month to bring lightning in. Otherwise, we going with plan B and we going to boost these powers. You know, so then like she's in the parking lot chilling and then lightning comes out of nowhere. She drops red off and then, you know, the chief of police, she, she didn't even call for backup. She just took out her gun and just, you know, like put her gun on it because she was, was like, you going to fight her one on one. And then when when Jennifer when JJ dropped, you know, dropped right on the ground, she was like, yo, this, you know, this guy's responsible for killing that teenager from Garfield High. She said that the information that you need, you know, to, to verify that is on the, is on a flash drive that's around his neck. So that's all the proof that you need to take this mother effort down. And then she was just like, oh, this doesn't change anything. She was like, you and the rest of the meta scum are going down, bitch. And then JJ was just like, first of all, smile because you was on camera. And she was like, I'm broadcasting this conversation live to the whole world. And it was all over Instagram, it was all over Twitter that the chief of police is now, you know, basically like instead of protecting and serving instead of innocent until proven guilty she's caught on tv basically saying yeah like yo i'm gonna take down every metahuman and i'm gonna kill you metahuman sons of bitches this that you know and this is after she actually did something good like she brought in a criminal that killed a teenager and then she's you know and now like the you know chief lopez is, is, is live on ig talking about how she's gonna take down the person responsible for bringing in like a teenager's killer she goes into the office and everybody's like staring and pointing and now she feels like embarrassed and she feels shame she had said early on for the reason why she's so desperate to bring in these metas and well another reason anyway she said that she took over the job from henderson and then she said if she doesn't bring lightning in and if she doesn't get a handle on the metahuman situation in freeland she's gonna be the first and the last female police chief of you know like a freeland so there's a lot of pressure on her so the cross so now she's at a crossroads does she uphold the badge, you know, like, like, you know, like the, the, the honor of the badge, quote unquote, or does she just try to save her career, save face? Does she step over the line just to get the results that she feels she needs to secure her job and, you know, in the safe face? So of course she makes the wrong choice and she takes the case. And then after she takes the case, you know, she ends up shooting herself up full of meta boosters. So now she has meta human powers and she has now become the one thing that she hates and she's coming after lightning so she can put her, bring her to justice does once and for all so that's gonna be very interesting what happens to her in the season finale tobias whale he's uh basically relishing in his victory because apparently he won the mayor's the mayor's chair and i'm just like we didn't even have an election like <laughs> we didn't have an election there was no scenes where he was debating against somebody he wasn't campaigning i was just like when they were just like oh tobias whale wins for mayor i was like when the hell did that happen but anyway so he calls the shadow council and he's like i just won for mayor so now i could take a seat at the council and they're just like no because you they said you taking a seat in the shadow council you know was only going to happen had you taken care of the metahuman problem and from what we see lightning is still out there so because lightning is still out there you didn't take care of the metahuman problem so you being mayor means nothing and your application to join the shadow council has been denied and then tobias is like i thought you'd say that and then he snapped his fingers and then one of his metahuman assassins basically ran up on that one white dude and like choked him out and killed him so then he said to the rest of the shadow council he was just like yo y'all can eat he's like yo one snap of a finger y'all can either join him or y'all can basically take a knee and bow down to the new king of freeland and, and of course you know the shadow council bowed down and then Tobias Whale, he's like, Tobias Whale's now on top and now I'm running things. He then sends a letter to Jeff, basically asking Jeff to sign over the deed and the rights to his dad's house. And I'm still trying to figure out why it's so important to get his hands on, like, he did, like, I know he said something about wanting to build like a hospital or a meta center or something like that. Like he wants to build a center where they basically like, you know, harness metahuman abilities. He wants to create like a facility that does that. And I believe the neighborhood that he chose to build this facility to harness metahuman powers, I feel like the facility, because I think they said it earlier, it is in the neighborhood where his dad's house is. So he wants to tear down the neighborhood so he can build this facility. But I don't know, for some reason, the whole thing about 
he's going mad hard at just specifically trying to get his daddy house. And I feel like there's more to it than that. And I thought there'd be more to it than that. But apparently, you know, it, it, so at, at least so far, like apparently there wasn't really nothing more to it. So Jeff now, he's, you know, he's trying to come up with a way. He's just like, listen, Tobias wants me to sign the deed. Jeff had said earlier, he was like, yeah, remember when I, you know, I used my powers to take away the short term memory of those police officers when I blew up their car. He was like, yo, we could do the same thing to Tobias and we can wipe his memory clean. So Lynn and Gamby, they came up with this device. And then Gamby told him, he was like, yo, you take this device, you place it at the back of his earlobe, his temple or whatever and then it should erase his short-term memory so then jeff was like all right i'm gonna go down there he calls tobias and he's like yo i'm gonna sign the deed you son of a bitch he was like yo just and then tobias is like yo meet me at your daddy house you <laughs> know so we can finish this once and for all so he's just like all right you know gamby's just like oh i'm going with you and then jeff was like no he was like i'm gonna finish this and then he's just like you know it ends tonight with me and tobias one way or the other he then goes to lynn and tells lynn that he updated his will so i'm like that's not <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like if you were trying to keep this whole thing from your family about like, you know, going down to face Tobias one-on-one. -on -one. I'm like, that's obviously foreshadowing that this might not go the right way. So he gives her his updated will and then he apologizes to Lynn for everything that she put him through. She apologizes to him for everything she put him through. And then the two of them kiss and they hug and embrace. And I'm like, thank God. <laughs> like it took us four seasons. It took us four seasons and 12 episodes to get here. But the two of them are finally on the same page. Like amen to that. You know, and then now, now Jeff's on his way down to go, you know, to, to go confront Tobias Whale and put a stop to this once and for all. Gamby and the girl that he banging, I, I can't remember her name. <laughs> like the two of them, along with Grace and Nissa, they find the facility that Tobias is using currently to, to, to where he, where I guess where he's holding the metahuman DNA that he had, that he sh extracted from those babies. So now that they found, now that they found that facility. Grace and Nissa, they, they went down there along with TC on comms. They go down there, Gamby gives them a device where they basically blew up the entire facility and they wiped, you know, like every, they, they wiped like all the metagene information and everything clean. Grace and Nissa got into a little conversation over it because they were just like, you know, after we blow up this facility, you know, Nissa was just like, we should tell the moms that all their babies got their, you know, their metahuman DNA removed from them. And then Grace was like, why would we do that? She was like, first of all, they didn't know anything about it. They have no, they had, they had no thought or motion or notion in their mind whatsoever that their babies were metahumans anyway. So why would we even tell them that information and create a scene out of nothing? Like sometimes, so like sometimes if something happens, as long as like no, not, there was no harm done, no harm, no fouls. Like sometimes it's like, to take it from me. Sometimes it's better you just keep your mouth shut. <laughs> <laughs> continue to do the right thing and move on. It's like, why create a problem that's not there? So, you know, but then, you know, Nissa, they kind of went back and forth on it. And I agree with Grace, you know, it's like, I agree with Grace. And then Nissa finally came through and she was like, all right, babe. She was like, yo, we just gonna keep our mouth shut. And the fact that they had that conversation, I feel like someone's gonna find out now it's gonna turn into this whole big thing. <laughs> <laughs> you know, then Gamby had brought um had had brought Lynn over, and then Lynn and I, I'm I'm just gonna call her Gamby girlfriend. Like <laughs> Lynn and Gamby's girlfriend, like the two of them sat down so they could find the machine, the admitter, so they can destroy the admitter, so the metahumans can get their powers back. Both her and Lynn had a nice conversation. You know, Lynn basically was just like, listen, she was like, Peter Gamby, I trust him with my life, and if he trusts you, then I trust you. And then she told the girl, she told the woman, she was like, listen, she's like, you know, my family are metahumans, and you know, we're trying to save our family from Tobias Whale so you know so she was just like all right she was like you know she said I kind of figured out she said I kind of thought about it I put certain pieces into play but she was like thank you for sharing you know sharing that information with me and now I'm kind of like now that she knows that the Pierce family are metahumans I hope she doesn't turn into a bad guy because I was at, like in the beginning when she first stepped on the scene I didn't trust her ass when she came out of the limo with that tight white dress I was just like nah she she uh <laughs> I was like nah she 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 a villain you know I felt better when come to find out she wasn't a villain she just want like she said she said i just wanted to create clean energy for freeland and to help people and i was like okay cool finally someone that's not an a-hole like somebody who's just like generally trying to do the right thing and now that she knows the pierce family's secret i'm like please don't turn this girl villain <laughs> i was like just let her be happy just let her be the good person that she's been and let's move forward so that says so now like her and lynn they're working together and they're trying to find the device so they can uh, like i said so they can turn it off so you can get her device back and then the metahumans can once again you know like reclaim their powers and now good old Khalil, Khalil, Khalil's still bringing Looker to Freeland. And this was a funny scene because Khalil's driving, he got the hip hop music bumping, and then Looker's like, oh, can you turn that jungle noise down? I'm like, bitch, <laughs> I hate her. 
And then, you know, he was, she, she was like, I prefer more treble than bass. And then, you know, the, the painkiller's like, I prefer to put my foot up your, <laughs> up your pasty white. <laughs> like, it was, it was just, like, she, she, like, the actress that's playing Looker, it, I love the, di I love, when the painkiller show starts, I hope she shows up on painkiller. That's all I'm going to say. So then while they're, <laughs> and then, you know, then like Khalil and painkiller, they were arguing back and forth about what to do with her. And then, you know, Khalil told her, he looked back and he was just like, first of all, he said, you don't need the use of your arms, your legs or your eyes to testify against Tobias Whale. So are you going to be quiet? Oh, you know, like, so, so we can get this done or what, what, what's the deal? And then she's just like, fine. You know, she's like, you know, so she sat, but she rolled her eyes. She sat back and then, then the painkiller looked over at Khalil. He was like, thank you. Now turn my shit back. <laughs> that was just, that was just a really, that was a really good scene. Like I like, I like that whole thing. And then while they're driving, the car gets stopped. And then when the car gets stopped, you know, it's uh, it's Ishmael, Ishmael. And I was just like, okay, here we go. Ishmael pulled up and he was just like, yo, Tobias Whale contracted me to kill you and the white girl. So then she was just like, oh my, you know? And then Khalil looked and then it's like, Khalil looked at Ishmael and then he's just like, he, he turned to pain kill. He's like, yo, I ain't got time for this shit. Man. <laughs> he's, like, he's like, yo, bro. He's like, because like, there's always a situation where Khalil is just like, yo, I got this. I got this. I got this. This is the one time he was like, look, ain't nobody. Like, he's like, yo, just take the wheel, man. <laughs> so then the two of them get into it, which is which was a cool fight. Very dope fight. It was a lot shorter than I would have liked it to be. But it was it, it was a very good fight scene. I, I definitely enjoyed it. And you know, in the end, because they, they were they were trading blows back and forth. Like it was kind of an even matchup to an extent. But in the end, when you know, when Ishmael tried to, you know, he tried to basically like cut Khalil's head off with the sword. When he tried to strike Khalil with the sword, you know, painkiller, you know, he caught the sword. And then when he caught the sword, like his hand started bleeding and the blood started pouring down the sword and all over Ishmael's hand. And then Ishmael even said he was just like, Yo, you good, but you wasn't good enough to touch my body with your poison. And then he was like, dude, like I didn't actually have to touch your body. <laughs> in order to hit you with the poison because with the blood on the sword going down his arm he poisoned his body with the touch of the blood and then after that the blood got into Ishmael's system then Ishmael basically died before he died he was like you cheated motherfucker <laughs> and then he like and then he tipped over and then like he died and I was like damn like they killed him in the they killed him in the episode before the season finale which says to me Khalil's gonna have a bigger fight in the season finale because I thought his big fight was gonna be him versus Ishmael, but apparently that apparently he's got something else going on. So we'll um we'll we'll, we'll definitely maybe maybe I mean no like Tobias would end up having to fight Jefferson. You know Henderson's boy, the police they showed up. Even the guy that got whammied by Looker, he showed up. They took Looker into custody and they were just like you know she's gonna testify against Tobias Whale you know about all the stuff that he did. And then after they put her in the car and then like the police drove away. Painkiller said to Khalil, he was just like, yo, you know, Freeland's like down the street. He said, we can, he said, we got a lot of unfinished business. And then Khalil was like, nah, he was like, yo, there's nothing for me in Freeland. You know, let's just go home. And then Painkiller rolled his eyes. And the, see, the reason why I feel like that, that happened, the reason why I feel like that scene happened the way it did, because when Painkiller said they have unfinished business, it was implied that they were talking about Tobias Whale. But we have to keep in mind, Painkiller still has the kill order to kill the Pierce family. So when he was like, we got unfinished business, I'm like, are we talking about the Pierce family? Or are we talking about Tobias? But Khalil was smart enough to not take the chance between the two. So he was just like, nah, we don't need to go to Freeland at all. But obviously he's still gonna show up. He's gonna feel bad at the last second. He's like, yo, let me just save the Pierce family. So he gonna go down there and watch. Khalil's gonna do something very cool where he's gonna save somebody or everybody in the Pierce family. He's gonna he's gonna run up to save the day. And then after he saves the Pierce family, Painkiller's gonna take over and try to kill their ass. <laughs> so that's a so that's a that's a that's a season that's a series finale prediction right there. Like I said, but then you know, like the looker's going and now Khalil, he's he's hitting the crossroad. He has a crossroad now as to whether or not he should go to Freeland or he should take his behind back to his virtual cool city that he's gonna be in on his own show. And then finally, Jeff gets to the house. You know, he has the device to take away Tobias's memory. He's talking to Tobias Whale. And then he's just like, yo, here are the papers. He's like, oh, you got to do is sign them. And he's like, really, Jefferson? He's like, no grandstand, no last gesture, no one last attempt to take down Tobias. And he was just like, look, you done took everything from me. You done ruined my name. You done took my, you done took my money. You know, you done, you done shamed my family. He's like, yo, just sign the damn papers. <laughs> you know, like, he was like, you done took everything. You, you done, it's like, you won. You took everything from me. Just sign the 
the damn papers. And he's just like, he's like, I knew your weak black ass, <laughs> you know, wouldn't put up a fight. And then when he tries to sign the papers, then, you know, Jeff came out of nowhere to try to hit him in the temple. And that was a bad moment to do it. I felt like Jeff could have picked a better time to try to do that, but it didn't work. Tobias saw it come and he hit him in the throat. He broke the device. And then he was just, you know, the, then, then, he, then he started whooping his ass. Because remember, like, Tobias has metahuman power. So he started whooping Jeff ass. And then he was just like, oh, you're going to die the same way your daddy did. You know, like, right here in this house. It's poetic justice. And he was just like, I was there. I was there the night that you murdered my dad. He was, and, then, and then Tobias looked at him. He was just like, yo, you was hiding under the bed. He said, you waited all this time to try to get revenge. He said, no, he said... He said, you've been waiting all these years to crawl out from under that bed to avenge your dead daddy. <laughs> I was like, come on, man. Like, oh, man. Like, whoever writes Tobias's dialogue, I'm just like, kudos, kudos to you. And I'm still waiting for at least one more that's what's wrong with you, Negro. <laughs> from Tobias, well. So that Tobias basically proceeded to beat the living tar out of Jefferson Pierce. You know, for someone that was cage fighting, you know, I mean, and I understand Tobias has metahuman power, but for someone who was cage fighting earlier on the season, Jeff been getting his ass beat <laughs> like a lot in these last few episodes. Like, once he lost his powers, it was just like, yo, all that training and all that stuff basically just went out the damn window. But anyway, he get his ass beat, he's knocked out, he's on the floor, he's unconscious, and then Tobias like, I'm gonna kill you the way I killed Joe Daddy. And then he, take, he takes the deed papers and starts shoving them in Jefferson's mouth. Then after that, Jennifer, JJ, she's home, you know, she's having dinner, and then, you know, like, she gets a call from her daddy. She answers the phone, and then it's Tobias Whale. He was like, yo, I saw that you got my boy Red locked up. You turned him into the police. I told, he's like, I told your ass that if you did that, I was going to murder everybody that you love. And then he sends her a picture of Jeff, and he was like, I killed Jefferson Pierce. I killed your daddy. And she's like, no. You know, and then like that's how the episode ended. So this was good. This was good for everybody because they're set. You know, like every everybody has a mission. Everybody has a job to do. Obviously, Jefferson's not dead because the show's called Black Lightning. Damn it! And it's like, and if you were gonna kill him, you'd kill him in the season, in the series finale, not in the episode beforehand. So I feel like. Gammy's gonna finally admit her. They're gonna destroy it, turn it off. Er, like all the metas are gonna get their power back. Then Jeff's gonna come busting out. You know he's gonna come. But Black Lightning's gonna be back, baby. You know that that that's the whole thing. Like I said, Khalil's gonna show up. I don't know what's going on with Thunder Grace. You know like uh, what's going on with the two of them. I don't, I don't know. Like I feel like seeds have been planted. Storyline wise, there's nothing left for Lynn to do. I mean, I, at this point, I think Lynn's good. All we gotta do is just clear Lynn's name and then. Like she, she, she good as far as you know, as far as that goes. Grace and Nissa should be good, but we still have to deal with the other Jennifer, with the original Jennifer up in the ionosphere. Because like I said, they already spoiled that image in the book pages, but you know we're still waiting for old Jen to come flying out of the sky. So old, you know, I'd like to see old Jen and new Jen. You know, also team up with Nissa and team up with Black Light, team up with the whole family, Gamby included, TC and everybody, and take down Tobias Will and kick some ass once and for all. So we'll see what happens. And thank you for tuning in. One more episode to go. This sucks. <laughs> I hate this really sucks because I love me some Black Lightning. Like, you know, like I made a lot of friends on YouTube, you know, like through Black Lightning, you know, Impact fan since 204. You know, as always, you know, from the beginning, my homegirl, Justin King, like, you know, Ev, Will, like we've been, we've been doing this Black Lightning. It's like, it's like, you know, now that we're, we're coming together over the show, the show is ending, but the show will still live on through, well, you know, what? I'm gonna save the speech because like, I'm, 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 <laughs> I'm gonna save the speech, like before I get emotional about losing it, we still got one more episode to go. So just leave your comments below about what you thought about this episode. Tell me what you think is going to happen in the season finale and we'll get ourselves emotionally prepared to say goodbye to the Pierce family. So that's it, guys. So for episode 12, until the series finale next week, let's light it up. Take care. And I'm out this bitch.